Let's start with the news we've been bringing you here on Sky Sports News involving Wolves and Julian Lopetegui, who has left the club. Uh, the Mail story for you and their headline, O'Neill set for Wolves' job as Lopetegui uh, quits. Starting with you, uh, Charlotte, how surprising is this news that Lopetegui has gone? Um, in some ways, not surprising at all, because we can go back to the end of last season. He started voicing in public how surprised he was that he wasn't going to be given the funds that he wanted and he sort of expected to be given to strengthen his squad. He came up, uh, over the summer, had some talks with Matt Hobbs and said that he actually was committed to the project. But he did an interview last week with a Spanish journalist where he changed again. So I think we know that he's been unhappy. Wolves don't want that disrupting the dressing room going into a new season. So they've had these amicable conversations which have been going on for a few weeks now. They finalised today at Compton. Obviously, they don't want to have to pay him a lot of money, whereas Unlopetegui is not going to want to leave for free. So all the conversations today, as I understand it, were around that financial settlement and it was agreed that him and his six staff would leave the club um, immediately. So they are looking for a new manager three days ahead of the new season starting. But as we understand it, Gary O'Neill is picked to take that position. Jason, your paper also has this story regarding Lopetegui. Just tell us how disruptive uh, you think this is for Wolverhampton Wanderers to lose their manager just six days before their first match of the new season. Well, it's obviously hugely disruptive. They can talk about there being amicable talks and obviously we know there's been ongoing discussions over the whole summer as to whether or not he would be remaining as Wolves manager. But to go this close to the start of the season, to suddenly lose your manager, who is also, you know, their best asset. He did, a, he did a great job at Wolves last season, steering them to safety. And he's a he's a big name manager. He's, he's a very confident manager. And I think to lose him at this stage is, is hugely damaging for, for the club, who obviously we had that statement last week from Jeff Shee, the, the chairman who laid out the sort of financial situation at the club. And Wolves are really up against it financially with FFP in particular. They really, they've, they've sold a lot of players um, this summer, £90 million worth. They've not really brought any, anyone in. And obviously that's been the core of, of Lopetegui's uh, discontent. So they're going into this new season and and with Gary O'Neill, it's, it's deja vu, isn't it? I mean, it was four games into to last year that he took over at Bournemouth. Obviously he was already at the club. And this year he's been parachuted into to Wolverhampton Wanderers. So obviously they, they'll just hope that he can do a similar job as he did at Bournemouth last year. But as you say, it's far from ideal. It's not the way to prepare for a season. And, and, and also it's embarrassing for a club of the stature of Wolverhampton Wanderers to lose the manager in this fashion. Charlotte, Jason mentions the word embarrassing there. What do you think is going on at Wolver Wolverhampton Wanderers, Charlotte? I mean, so many outgoings and then they've hardly brought anyone in. I mean, it's, it's a strange situation, isn't it? When you speak to people around the club who are obviously clued up a lot more on the financial situation than you or I are, it's a three-year cycle in terms of having to adhere to the rules with regards to FFP or profit and sustainability, which is what the Premier League rules are now saying. So it's not that they did spend a lot of money in January, but if you go back over the last few years, they've spent a lot of money and not necessarily wisely. So Lopetegui came into the club. He wanted to strengthen they bought him six players in January, which was a lot of the budget which they could have used in the summer. And then he wanted to strengthen again. So quite frankly, they just don't have the, the money to do that. They're very cautious about balancing the books, making sure everything's been done legitimately. They've sold six players, some of them big names, Ruben Neves, Connor Cody, Nathan Collins, they've all gone. And they've only brought in Matt Doherty on a free transfer. So you can understand why Lopetegui is annoyed. But the new manager, which we expect to be Gary O'Neill, is going to have to adhere to the same rules because it's not something that was just being designed to annoy Lopetegui. It is the rules of the Premier League and that they're trying really hard to abide by those.